All right, guys. Well, uh, check it out here. It's been a hell of a long time. I kind of don't even really have a camera right now, since uh, the camera here I can't see out of the the viewfinder. I can't turn my light off, and uh, I really don't even know where I'm pointing it at. So I'm just going to kind of go in the general direction. Uh, well, we're sitting in the room. It's been about a year, maybe more, since I made a video. And the last video I made was of the 813s here. And pretty much it's done. It's all together. It's wired up. We got the 220 coming up through the ceiling here. Got the tubes and everything ready to go. Got it all wired up. Got the new tube in there. A new uh, a new choke going to the high voltage. I blew the old one. When I fired it up, it just kind of popped. So I made that little one there. Had to jump the tank coil. Uh, got a spit here. Wasn't enough capacitance on the uh, the loading coil. The output coil, or I mean the uh, output capacitor. So I had to add that one straight to ground. And it's still fully meshed, so I don't know what's going on. Guess it needs more capacitance, I don't know. Uh, but there it is. Uh, of course it works, you know. RF deck ain't plugged in. But yeah, I'm going to cut this, make sure it's recording, and then we're going to fire this bitch up. Alright guys, well, this kind of pissed me off. This thing is a royal pain in the ass to try to figure out when you can't see nothing on the screen, so. I've been sitting here for about five minutes trying to get this hunk of junk to work. But in the meantime, the filaments are heating up. And I'm waiting for them just to get warm, and then I'm going to throw the plate voltage and see what happens, so. This video is going to be cut and spliced, so I will BRB. Alright, so I'm back. About three seconds later, uh, just said to go turn the light on up there. But pretty much, this bitch has been heating up for like 10 minutes, even though it doesn't have to be heated. Uh, and I'm going to flick this big ass switch down here and see what happens. I don't know. That meter will probably just blow up and I'll, uh, I'll get incinerated, but at least it'll be on tape. At least I sure hope it's recording. As you can see, my lights need a resistor because they keep blowing out, but everything's functional. Just the lights don't work. Tune and load, as you can see. Standby, radio, driver, and there's only one thing left to do, and it should go uh, kerklunk. And it should pause for a second because there's a there's a uh, couple resistors on there for a soft start. But enough of my bullshitting. Here we go. So, it appears to me that we're resting at about 3,800 volts. And once this thing warms up, it should go up past 4,000. At least that's what I read on the meter. That little clicking is a fan in there because it's a piece of shit. Nothing blew up. Hmm. We're at about 3,900 volts on the plate. Them things ain't gonna do nothing yet since I'm not really keying it. I ain't even gonna touch it. Let's see what happens here. Here's the radio meter. I know it ain't the best, but uh, I don't think nobody has any room to bash my junk here because let's see 
one of you all-knowing hams build one of these amplifiers, then make a video, then come back to me and bitch at me for having all this Radio Shack junk. But anyway, 20 watt scale, radio, variable power, 1 to 5 watts, and this thing keys with an RF keying circuit, transistor. And I'm keying the radio with my foot. So anyway, 0 watts right now. Oh, stand by. Zero watts input. There it keyed. 20 watt scale, half a watt in. About 7 watts out. 2 watts in, 20 watts out. Uh, let's boost it up a bit. Low power. on the two pill there's a, a hundred watts out I hope you guys are seeing this I can't see through the viewfinder mind you so there's a hundred watts out let's bump it up high power 75 watts in 2000 watt scale it's keying 400 watts there Let's take it down 27. It's keying 500 watts. Plates are a little bit red. That's because of the tuning capacitor. Let's dial it down to about 100 watts. There's 100 watts. 4 kilovolts on the plate. Shoot, under load, it's only dropping down to 3,500. That ain't bad at all. About mm, 2 milliamps. Not even a tenth of an amp on that shit. Alright, so let's give it some audio. Got the mic. Audio, check, check, check. Hello, radio. There's a thousand watt there. There's a kilowatt. There's a kilowatt, like I said. Audio, check, check, check. 500 keying or keying 500 swinging a thousand, but that's not good. 250 modulate a thousand, 10 ain't straight. As you can see, the bleeders do their job. Bleeding right down to about 2700 volts. Let the filaments cool down with the fan for a minute. So there you guys have it. Burning tires with his corded camera. A13 box of roaring. And they said I couldn't do it.